good morning or good afternoon maybe wherever you are I'm walking around in the Irish town nature preserve or nature park not quite sure what it's called just wanted to make a video to talk about my recent book that came out a few of the poems in it were certainly thought of here maybe a few of the lines were thought of here so I figured it might be suitable to give a little context for the book and its design and what it's about while I'm in one of the places that sort of inspired a couple of the poems or at least some lines um, the book is called noticing practice the reason why I called it that is because I have my own version of uh, a meditation practice. I don't do it every day, but I try to. Probably hit the goal like five days out of the week, four or five days. But it's something that's always been an ongoing constant for me, or at least I try to keep it that way. Um, I get kind of sick of like the all the terminology around meditation and mindfulness practice and hey, it gets all kind of bogged down and it's not about ooh, a mushroom it's not really about all the terminology it's about the act itself so I think I sort of rebranded meditation for me in the phrase noticing practice for me, when I do meditate, it's about noticing. So I'm breathing in through my nose, I'm breathing out through my mouth. Oh. Awkward. And, uh, yeah, I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth and I try to focus on that I try to notice my breath and then the practice part comes in when I realize I've stopped noticing and that's when I notice not noticing and that's when I go back to noticing my breath hence the term noticing practice so that's kind of where the name of the book came from and all the poems in this book were written between 2020 and 2022. And during that period of time, my routine basically was to get up before work, do some writing, and then do my noticing practice. So the writing kind of went hand in hand with the noticing practice and that morning routine. So I figured, why not call it that? And of course, some of the content in the book is about slowing down, noticing. It's about nature. It's about human beings, which are a part of nature, which is nature. So that's the reason for the title. The cover art I designed um, the background all that wiggly stuff that was a uh, big piece of Bristol board that I doodled on with a sharpie probably about seven or eight years ago I was really into Alan Watts at the time and uh, if you're unfamiliar with Alan Watts he was a uh, practitioner I suppose and a teacher of Eastern spirituality and Eastern religion he was kind of known for bringing it to uh, North America and lecturing about it and he was a big influence on me at least he was five or six or seven or eight years ago and I remember listening to one of his lectures thinking man this guy's so cool he was a really good speaker and I forget which lecture it was or what he was even talking about but 
he was saying everything is wiggles and that always just stuck in my mind as like a metaphor for the universe and our bodies you know our cells our relationships our everything in a greater sense I suppose so everything is wiggles so I was inspired by that when I drew the um, the wiggles on the poster board and I kept it for years I never thought I would use it for anything but then I was thinking about what I wanted the cover to look like and I came across that doodle thing again and I sized it up and I thought it was pretty cool and fitting for the book so that's where that came from back of the book there is an x-ray of a skull and that skull would be mine I got the x-ray from a trip to the dentist and if you look closely at my wisdom teeth in the x-ray you'll see that one of them is chipped pretty badly and um, I was having some pain in them that's why I was there at the dentist and uh, there's a poem about wisdom teeth in the book and how they're kind of a leftover uh, part of our evolutionary dental plan that's not really necessary anymore and our jaws aren't big enough to accommodate them. So I thought that kind of lined up with the overall theme of the book where I'm talking about um, what it's like to be human beings and how what it's like to be a human being how we kind of forget until you get some sort of evolutionary failure of a tooth problem and then you're really reminded of your lineage and where you came from and where you're going what we are, the primates. Over top of the skull x ray, there's a image of a cursor like the pointer you know on the computer screen this was another theme that's overlaid in the book of our digital evolution and where that's taking us and how that kind of clashes with our natural evolution so I kind of like that juxtaposition of something that's primal and natural um, mixing with the growing pains of being alive in a digital world or an ever increasing digital world another thing I kind of baked into the book is that I try not to use any capitalization or uh, punctuation or basically try to avoid the formalities that make the English language what it is. I kind of also um, made up a couple of my own words and this was sort of a byproduct of that rule I set for myself by not using the punctual, punct, punctuality, punct, why can't I speak today? The punctuation. Um, so instead of your, 
like um, like you are your it's your y e r which is just kind of how I talk anyways so I thought that was something visual and something interesting from a grammar standpoint to have in there Also with the no, um, with some of those limiting constraints on the way I was writing it, I thought it tied in cool with the idea of like noticing practice. So you definitely notice when there's no capitals or no periods or no exclamation marks or apostrophes or commas and that kind of harkens back to the whole idea of noticing when you're not noticing and which makes you a better noticer a lot of noticing I'm up here starting to steam mild amount of exercise has got me steaming The only poem in the book that utilizes capitalization is the poem called Molly, which is about our friend's dog. Oh, duck. And uh, I thought it would be funny if that was the only poem, uh, or the only name where I used capitalization because she's a dog and she would never know or never care. Just a little joke for me, I guess. So that's some of the context for the book. Um, basically more about cover design, I guess, and some of the themes that I tried to incorporate. I uh, hope you get a copy. It's for sale on Amazon. Um, it's my second book. You can also find my first book called Tulip Stance Behind the Cashier on Amazon. And I hope you get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Anywho, thanks for watching.